All right, guys, it's that time. I have a working lane. I got the, uh, I wired up the white lane and just tested it out and it's, it's working pretty happy. I gotta work a little bit on this joint here and, and this joint here. I hear a little bit of a click. I can feel it with my finger. It's not perfectly level, so I have to try and level that out. Um, but it doesn't stop the cars from working. This is a 2.5 ohm level 25 car. This is my 2 ohm Neo car. I'm barely even touching the trigger. I'm afraid to see how fast the car can go. Because <laughs> I don't want to want to drive the trigger. 2.5 second lap I just did. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. This is a regular V-Spec 6 ohm armature. Good GT40 AFX body. I did order the, uh, I got some foam coming to put around the border, uh, 3 8 inch, 2 at 3 inch high. Uh, black foam that I'm going to put around the border so when cars crash they don't smash into the hard wood. I'm going to order, I got to get some plexiglass uh, barrier dividers too. I think I put one up here. I think I need another one over there. I've just been kind of trying to watch where cars, cars definitely come off this turn and launch either into the wood there or they actually go off the table. So. <laughs> Definitely, definitely need one right here for sure. In fact, I might even steal one off of my other track for now. But, um, let's see what else can we drive. This is a regular uh, AFX um, Mega G Plus with pretty much stock tires side. Well, actually, this has uh, uh, silicone tires, but stock re stock wheels. Uh, level 42 magnet. And there goes that one. What I like about the Viper track is the little bit of extra space. So you know on your AFX track, between the, the two, if you have two tracks next to each other, there's a wider space. It's like an inch. Um, that's basically the same space you get on every lane with the Viper track. Um, so it's, there isn't really a problem with the, you know, cars touching on my AFX track. These two cars would be, would be touching each other. So, what else can I run? Um, this is a Arden Creek Super 7. Yeah, there, there you go. It's working. At least I know my wiring was correct. <laughs> And the light, the light bridge and the timing system's all working. So pretty happy with that. But all right, guys, that's it for now. I was up real early again, but I did go to bed early. So I'm going to try and uh, get some rest today. And I do need to, you know, I got to build all the rest of the power caps and then do all the wiring for the other three lanes. But I do have a functional lane to, to hold me over. 
I have to resist the urge to just play on this one lane and get back to work on the other three lanes. But all right, guys, that's it for now. Talk to you guys later. Bye.